if uh, if you don't change the hummingbird feeders, if you don't clean them on a regular basis, uh, you're going to develop because of the sugar. You're going to develop uh, this type of fungus that grows on these uh, on the parts of the feeder. Uh, this goes like this. Usually, it's closed up. It'll go inside uh, the little tulip, and then of course the tulip goes like that, and then this little tulip piece goes in here. But nonetheless, you need to wash these things regularly. I would suggest every two weeks. This stuff really builds up, and it's nasty. And if you care about these little birds, you're actually contaminating them, uh, or potentially contaminating them with the fungus that develops from the sugar and the heat outside um, three things you need for fungus to grow right is moisture heat and a medium and you got all three of them right here when they sit out in the when the feeders sit out in the sun and then you got the sugar which propels the uh, the fungus growth that feeds them so if you get an opportunity every couple of weeks you might want to wash these things and that's it this is my uh informational moment on hummingbird feeders thanks for watching hey everybody this is part two of cleaning the hummingbird feeders so what i usually do is i take my sink and i fill it up with soap and water and i let these things sit in here i let these things sit in here for a good couple of hours to make sure that they uh that they get a good soaking you know i include the bottle because the bottle, you, it, you developed some of the fungus also, as you can see, some of the fungus is on the, the screw part of the bottle. So every, every place, every place that, uh, that can conceivably grow fungus, as you can see here, will grow fungus. So this stuff tends to stick pretty good. So what I do is I leave it in there for a couple of hours and then I take one of these three or $4 electric toothbrushes and I really, you know, Get some soap and water, and I really give it a, a good spin and scrub it down um, so that I can get that stuff off. And don't forget, also, this little sucker right here. I forgot this last time, and I hadn't realized that it was still on the inside, it had, uh, it had the fungus on the sides. And this stuff, after I had cleaned the hummingbird feeder really well, suddenly. It all got full of fungus again, like in a week. So, yeah, do your due diligence. Stick it in soap and water for a couple of hours. Hit it up with the uh, toothbrush, electric toothbrush, or you can use a sponge, or you can use some, some sort of bro pad, whatever you want. This tends to work best because it gets into the nooks and crannies. And, uh, and clean that feeder. You don't want to be poisoning these poor little indefenseless birds. They're coming to your feeder to eat. And if your uh, feeder is nasty, you could potentially be harming them. Thanks. Hey everybody, this is Hummingbird Feeder Part 3. Just to, uh, just to continue the information. So when I make hummingbird food, what I do is I grab a one cup container. I put five of these. One, two, three, four, five of these into a pot and boil the water once the water is boiled then i get one cup of the same size one cup of sugar poured into the pot with the five cups of water uh, turn off the uh the stove and then just get some sort of spoon or what have you and stir, stir, stir. You want to make sure that the, the sugar dissolves in the water. And then just leave it there for a few hours and uh, let it cool off. Uh, what I tend to do is once it's cooled off, I take a, uh, one of these water bottles. I put an X on the top so that my wife doesn't come and try to drink it. And I fill these bottles up and I kind of just leave them on the side there. Um, and let, let them stay nice and cool with the air conditioning of the house 
and then that's what I use to fill up the uh, hummingbird feeders. And again, same, same principle applies. You want to clean these bottles. Remember, anything that has the sugar will cause some sort of fungus to, uh, to grow on the, uh, on the container. Okay, thanks a lot. That's all I got.